Hello, my friends. Uh, today, we're going to be making a recipe from a book. The book that this recipe is from is called The Great Treehouse War by Lisa Graff. And in the book, uh, 10 kids end up living in a treehouse, unsupervised, and provided with all sorts of delicious treats from their fans and admirers. So they start making some pretty weird recipes. And this recipe that we're going to be doing today is like a Rice Krispie treat, which you probably may have had before. But instead of Rice Krispies, they use Cheetos, and specifically the Crunchy Cheetos. If you use the puffs, they kind of get yucky. So Crunchy Cheetos. And I have changed the recipe. They made it pretty much the same as you make Rice Krispie treats. I've changed it so that you can make it in a little mug with just whatever leftover marshmallows you had from s'mores, a little half a bag of Cheetos, you don't need a whole bag. And uh, we're gonna see how it tastes. So, all you need, Cheetos. You can probably use one of those little fun size bags if you have one of those, or just the end of a crunchy bag, but remember it has to be crunchy, not puffs. Um, marshmallows, the jet puffed ones are my favorite, but you can use any kind. Um, if you get the big marshmallows, you probably need like eight or nine marshmallows. Um, and what I did is I sort of ripped them up into smaller pieces so that they would melt faster. And I have those all ripped up in here. If you use the mini marshmallows, you can see I'm using about a cup and a half, two cups. Um, you don't need a lot because once again, we're only making this much. And then the most important part, you will need one tablespoon of butter. So, Make sure your butter is cold. If it's not, this will be a very gushy. Um, I got this right out of the fridge. Cut off the one tablespoon at the one tablespoon mark. And then we're going to rub it all over the inside of our mug, sort of like how you would grease a pan, so that at the end, our sticky marshmallow mess comes straight out and we can eat it. All right, so once I've got this all covered in butter, I'm going to pop my butter to a microwave safe bowl. And make sure the bowl is bigger than a mug because um, when we're adding all the ingredients and stirring them, it is gonna get a little bit bigger than the size of the mug. So get a big bowl if you have one, even though you're only using a seemingly small amount. And you're gonna put that in the microwave. And you're gonna watch it because butter melts really fast in the microwave. And I'm just pressing my like one minute start button. Some people have like 30 second buttons. Those are really good. The 30 second button is perfect for this project. So I have the one minute button, so I'm gonna watch mine. And when my butter starts getting a little melty, I'm gonna pull it out, stir it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna put it back in and make sure it's really hot so that it can melt the marshmallows. Now, way before 30 seconds, this is like 10 more seconds. My butter is hot and bubbly. So I'm going to dump in my marshmallows. They're all sticking together because I chopped them up. And I'm gonna stir with a heat proof spatula until I get the marshmallows all sort of coated with butter. And then, because it's not a lot of butter, um, the marshmallows might not melt all the way by themselves, so we're going to put it back in the microwave. And this is once again where your 30 second button will really be good. And as you can see, they've sort of poofed out a bit. My marshmallows now look a lot fluffier and buttery. So now when I mix it up, I'm going to get this nice, shiny stuff. Kind of looks like marshmallow floof. And once I've gotten that all smooth, so there aren't any more. Um, chunks of marshmallow. I am going to quickly pour in Cheetos. And I don't really have a good amount. If you have like a mini bag, that's perfect. I'm just gonna dump in some and, uh, and start mixing. Now the cheese starts to sort of get into the marshmallows. So in the end, you're gonna have this kind of crazy looking uh, orangey treat. When I 
did my book discussions and one of the kids said it looked like mac and cheese. Kind of looks like mac and cheese to me. <laughs> All right, so then you're gonna sort of scoop it into your mug and you can try to smash it in there to get as much as you can. Ooh, it looks like I made a lot. So I'm gonna have a very full mug. Okay. So once it's squished in there, all you have to do is let it sit. Um, probably like a half an hour, it would taste delicious. It would be ready. Um, so this is the one I just made. This is one I made the other day. So as you can see, it looks a little bit different now um, that it's all hard and turned into a nice <laughs> cylindrical crispy treat. And I know what you're thinking, it's Cheetos, it's probably gonna be a little gross. It's actually delicious. Have a good one, guys.